Um, you guys should have received a couple weeks back the August yep. financials. Um, it's the eighth report for 2015, and the target is 66.67%. The month's uh, total income without the capital reserve was 787000 The motor vehicles came in at 232000 which is over target by about $2,000. Other major contributors this month were interest on taxes at 18,000, building permits at 20,000, highway subsidy at 89,900, state water pollution control at 68,300, departmental income at 65,900, and the parking lots came in at 138,000, which puts them above, above last year by about 32,000. Uh, franchise fees at sixty-four thousand, district court fines at eighteen thousand, and the real estate trust at forty-three thousand. The expense summary shows the year-to-date expenses by department. At the end of August, the operating departments without debt service but with open purchase orders are at uh, sixty-five point two one percent of the budget, which is under the month's target by one point four six percent or $341,900. I continue to note all of the different departments who had uh, line items that were over target. Um, I think I'll just read off the departments tonight because it's all in the narrative there. Uh, Board of Selectmen and Town Manager supplies and expense line. Trustees of the Trust Fund supplies and expense. Election Administration. Um, has several accounts in there that were over target, but as a whole, they're at uh, 67.67. Finance, supplies, and expenses, assessing, uh, contracted services is still over the budget. Tax collection, tax liens and instruments is over target. Um, MIS, the four equipment related accounts, when combined together, are currently under at 60.4%, which is $5,000 under the budget. Financial administration as a whole is over target at 68.46%. Uh, most of that, I think, falls under uh, assessing being over for their contracted services. Uh, let's see. Cemeteries, their contracted services and electric are both over target. Uh, the police department came in at 62.2% overall when you include the open purchase orders. And they have several lines there that um, are over target. <coughs> Fire department is at 63% overall with open purchase orders. Highways and streets is over target at 84.62, and that still goes mostly back to snow. Uh, municipal sanitation is running below target at 61.75%. Animal control is below their target, but overtime wages are overspent. Mosquito control is over target, but that is just due to the business of the fact that all of their spraying and stuff is being done now. They, they have a contract, so they will come in under or at Target. Warren articles, uh, the past at the town meeting, you guys uh, should notice on the last page, page 15 of your report, you can start seeing some big activity taking place there. A lot of that money is uh, being spent and those projects are being completed. The 2014 encumbrances uh, show 61% have been expended to date. We have gone through that list with the departments, and the ones that are on there do still need to be open, and they do plan to um, use those purchase orders. In the special revenue funds, Fund 24 Recreation, the beach sticker donations year-to-date equal $12,979,000 with $21,602 being awarded in scholarships for kids and to go to the different camps and stuff. Fund 25, the Cable Committee fund balance can continues to run above the 2014 uh, ending balance. Private detail, the activity for the summer, has that account has increased considerably from the month before with the different details and stuff that took place over the summer. EMS fund, the balance in uh, this account continues to grow as the activity increased over the summer. Wastewater system development charge, uh, the fees collected in August totaled $3,200, uh, bringing the balance to $154,000. That's, the board did ex um, prove some expenditures, so once those expenditures have 
taken place, uh, my projected balance is uh, $110,900 for that account. So that wraps up the August financials. If you guys have any questions. Questions, Mr. Waddell? Yeah, I, just a couple. Sure. If you don't mind. That you've probably answered them anyways, and I probably just missed it. But under the revenue fire department permits, now that's up considerably, right? That was f budgeted 4900 and we've collected 14000 Yes. And that's because of those new? Yes. So that's really coming in quite nicely. Mm-hmm. Very nice. And motor vehicle permits are up, <coughs> right? And Pretty we still have September, October. Does it usually slow down in the fall, or were they... The rate usually stay about the same of revenue coming in. We seem to be very consistent on how much we've been over uh, the target. It's only really about two thousand dollars over target, so uh -huh. I would think that we'd probably at least remain at that level. Okay. So I think April and May are their bigger revenue months, if I remember correctly, because all of the leases I think are due in there. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, under miscellaneous income, miscellaneous what is income. that? The one from the state or the one that's the town? Uh, 7850. 7850. It's budgeted. At 22000 Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the year, a lot of the things that end up in there do end up getting moved because okay. they're for other purposes. I actually did notice that, and I meant to look at that account, and I didn't look to see what's there. A lot of times, if we bill for something and it's only a one-time billing, um, it's run through that account and then after so that we don't have to set up new codes in our financial software and then once the money comes in we usually move it to the proper thing an example of that would be like the start billing for fire it runs through miscellaneous and then once it's paid it gets put into the proper uh, whether it needs to go into fund 27 or if it needs to go back into one of the other fire accounts so I need to look at that and um, see okay. what accounts my guess is that number is inflated because the money needs to be moved somewhere else Okay, super. And parking lot revenues are still, above. And we still have more to come in. I yeah, mean, I hear there's another concert. I think Diana <laughs> just told us, right? I mean, so, that concerts? So. so that's nothing but positive, right? Right, and that was only through August. So you still have September revenue to go in there um, from the Seafood Fest and um, Labor Day. All of that it hasn't been posted in there yet. And I had a question on, on workman's compensation. That was up? For the expense? Yeah, the expenses. Where was that? I believe we just got a credit in the mail on that on Friday, though, because of the they bill yeah. you, they pre-bill you, and then once they do the audit, mm -hmm. they give you back a credit, and we usually just take that off of our next bill. I think okay. th I kind of feel like we got a credit of, like, 22000 I believe, that right. came in on, like, Friday. All right. And then a lot of the police stuff that's up at 100% and stuff is stuff that you paid one one time. Correct. Or it's or the summer stuff gas, that's yeah. now going to... Summer stuff, yep. All right. All right. And uh, just a question that was here, and Fred probably can answer it too, grist mill. Is there anything going on that? Or? I don't know anything about Not that. currently. Not currently. Not. There are funds available there through 2019. Uh, we weren't going to do any work on jacking up the grist mill and replacing the foundations or realigning the foundations until we had a, a positive end result on what's going to happen with yeah. the dam. We want to make sure everything was dovetailed together. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Yep. Mr. Bridal? No, just uh, it, it looks like all our departments are, are, are fairly close, and that's actually pretty good considering the, the long winter we had and the uh, fairly dry summer with, with in, in the crowds that we had at the beach. Uh, I know some of the, some of the beach businesses are talking uh, that they're down a little bit but the day trippers uh, were up and so uh, to see that we can still try to keep it in line I think you're doing a real good job thank, thank you. you mrs. Mosley hmm. um, on the fire department permits too we have a new fire prevention officer and we have the secretary and I think the permits are being processed a lot faster than they were and the inspections yeah. are being done a lot in a lot more timely fashion, which is really good. They have a whole new process over there, that is correct, yes, on how that's they're excellent. Um, collecting the money and yep. putting it over and everything. Christy, on August 31st, <coughs> your projected year-end savings, you gave us 155967 the year-end saving projection. 
on the September 24 mm -hmm. calculation, I hope I'm reading this right, you've got 582.817. Is that because the manager froze some expenditures or? Yeah, that well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Thought I'd ask. Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay. Is there anything that stands out, Fred, that you froze that, is there no. any big thing? No, what we we did was we uh, we we really didn't freeze anything. What we said is all all purchase orders have to be consigned, have to be inspected by finance, and have to be consigned. Okay. So that constricted the number so of purchase screening. orders coming in. We're screening them. Okay. Good. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Bean. Mr. Chairman, I have no questions. Thank you, Director. Thank you, and you've done a great job. It's very concise, and uh, we appreciate everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you very much. 